So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the 86 rated award winner, Gignac Card. This guy won the Liga MX Player of the Year award and thus was given this item in Ultimate Team. If you want to get this card, you can get it via an SBC and from scratch, it's going to cost you around 60k. Which, to be fair, 60k for an 86 rated special card just off base value doesn't sound all that bad. Anyway, before we get into this review, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. In the comments below, let me know if you're going to get this card, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Okay, so let's look at this guy's in-game stats. He's got some pretty awesome shooting attributes. He's got 89 finishing and 90 shot power. Those are definitely two standout attributes. This guy also has 90 composure, which is fantastic to see. Another standout stat on this card is the 94 strength, but it is worth noting that he does only have 61 balance, which obviously isn't ideal. One more great stat that I will point out is, of course, that 89 heading accuracy. Anyway, enough of the numbers. Let's talk about in-game performance. How was the 86-rated Gignac in-game? He was pretty good. He was pretty good. He's obviously not the quickest of forwards or the best when it comes to dribbling, but when it comes to scoring goals and taking chances, this guy is top class. He is a certified finisher. As I say, he's not rapid, but he's not slow. You ain't going to be pace abusing with this guy, but he is quick enough to make runs into space. Positionally, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. He's got medium, medium work rates, so he doesn't stay forward all the time. But when I was attacking with the ball, he was regularly running into good positions. And you'll see in some of the clips the way he peels away from defenders to get into space for headers. His dribbling, it felt alright. He's not a player I'd use to run the, uh, run the ball with. Um, he holds up the ball well, but he's not agile enough to be taking on defenders. I also found his first touch to be a little bit inconsistent. When it comes to passing, I was actually impressed with this guy. For a striker, he passes the ball really well. Don't get me wrong, he's no Iniesta, he's no David Silva, he's not going to you know, dictate play, he's not going to be that creator, but considering his role, the fact he's a striker, I think his passing is up to scratch. His short passing game was really good. Always try and pass off of his stronger right foot though because he's got a freestyle weak foot and that left foot for passing isn't very good. Shooting wise, like I've already said, this guy is top draw. I've got very few complaints about his goal scoring ability because he's so freaking clinical. Inside the box, he's class. He's a threat from outside the box. He's also great with his head. As you've seen in the clips, I was scoring all kinds of goals with this guy. Power shots, long shots, finesse shots, headers, volleys, tappings. This guy scores goals. Just don't shoot with his left foot and you will be fine. I promise you that his finesse shots are lethal. I know finesse shots are OP in FIFA 19, but this guy is very freaking good at them. Physically, with him being pretty strong, he certainly puts up a fight. He'll hold off most players, which is awesome. As we do know, though, he does not have good balance. But if I'm being fully honest, I actually didn't have too many issues with his balance. For me, Gignac only got taken down and ended up on the ground when he got fouled. His strength and hold-up play can certainly frustrate opponents, and it just leads to them fouling the guy. Um, he stands at six foot two, and he's got a decent jumping stat for a tall forward. He's got head 89 head accuracy, so yeah, he is definitely an aerial threat in front of goal. And he's also a great player to aim for when taking goal kicks. His stamina of 75 isn't particularly great, so he will be pretty tired toward the end of matches. Overall, though. I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with this card. His goal scoring ability, like I keep saying, is top class. And at the end of the day, a striker's job is to score goals. This guy does that. He's not a forward who you're going to use to run at defences with. He's not a player who's going to create loads of chances. He's there to finish off those chances. So if your team's lacking a finisher, this guy could be a great addition to your club. This guy works in one and two striker formations, and he can work as a starter or as an impact sub. I don't think he'll suit everyone's style of play. If you like to run with your forwards, I wouldn't advise getting this guy, but if your play style revolves around the target man, this card should certainly be considered. If you're going to put a chem style on him, I'd advise using the engine chem style as that'll boost his pace, passing and dribbling. Three areas which could do with some improvement in my eyes. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the award winner Gignac. Do I think he's worth picking up? Yeah, I do. 50, 60k for this card is worth it in my opinion. Um, he could definitely be a pretty good super sub. Anyway guys, in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this card. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below your thoughts as I've already said. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.